from roughly 1689 until 1815, the world was at war. Peace broke out once in a while, but you had the world's two great superpowers facing one another, France and England. Great imperial powers vying for nothing less than world supremacy. Sometimes they fought through surrogates. Sometimes they fought against one another. And we can go through the list of wars. There's King William's War, Queen Anne's War, the War of Jenkins Ear, the War of Spanish Succession, the War of Austrian Succession, the French and Indian War, the American Revolution, and then the Napoleonic Wars. All of these wars fought between these two great superpowers. And as they engaged with one another in these wars, they naturally drew in their allies. Spain, tied by family to France, was almost always on France's side. Russia, oh, will come in on the side of the English. Prussia, on the side of the English. Austria on the side of the French. And so it goes in this kaleidoscopic 125 years of war. And the American Revolution is one of those wars. It begins, of course, as a war of independence of the American colonies against the British, a kind of family feud. But the French, who are always looking to get even with the British, see an opportunity here. And once they're sure that the Americans, one, are serious about independence, and two, have a fighting chance of getting it, then they join us. Then they join us in this treaty. And so they come in on our side. A little bit later in the war, the Spanish come in on our side. However, the Spanish never sign a treaty of alliance with us. They're allies of France not of the United States. Uh, you see, the Spanish don't feel too kindly towards us because they understand that if you have a, a vibrant, a powerful American republic, they might not be a good neighbor. Uh, and France, and both France and Spain, have territories next to us. So Spain comes in on our side. The Dutch join us as well. The Dutch don't provide much in the way of the military, but they send us a lot of cash, okay? and that's very good as well. So these wars then go ebb and flow, and um, as someone, I think it was perhaps uh, Disraeli once remarked, some great statesman, that nations don't have permanent friends, they only have permanent interests. And the permanent interest here, for 125 years, is the battle between the French and the British for this world domination. Um, and we, we, we triumph. We perhaps were most lucky. We could not have won our revolution without French aid. Had not our revolution become part of a greater world war, we would probably be singing God Save the Queen today. <laughs>